So let's start by settling the body in a stable, comfortable, upright position. Bringing our awareness to our posture. So we keep the feet flat on the floor, the back straight, torso open, hands in the lap right over left with the palms upturned and the thumbs gently touching. Our eyes are gently closed or slightly open. Gazes unfocused and downward. And we scan through the body and see if we're holding any places of unnecessary tension. We try to relax into this stable, comfortable, upright position without rigidity. Just letting the body fall into place. And try to bring your awareness inside the body and mind, pulling it away from the world around you. Allowing the environment outside to be as it is without investigating or following it. And feel as though you also let go of thoughts of the past, any plans for the future, just holding your awareness in the present moment, using the physical sensation of the air as it passes into and back out of the tip of the nostrils as a way of anchoring your awareness. Trying to notice quickly when the mind moves to some other object and then without judgment or frustration, just lifting your attention from that distraction and placing it back on that present moment physical sensation.
And then when the mind feels more calm, generate a broad and altruistic motivation for your time. Thinking of wanting to bring benefit to sentient beings through developing your own good qualities. Tapping into and expanding your potential. And if you have some idea of enlightenment, then you can take that as your motivation. And then the homework for this week is to meditate on affectionate love. The next step, the fourth step in this process. The seven point cause and effect meditation for developing bodhicitta. Riva Rinpoche says that this kind of love is like the kind of love that a mother feels when looking at her only child. And the instruction is to generate the same kind of love toward all sentient beings, perceiving them in a beautiful, glowing way. Riba Rinpoche says that if we really focus on the the preceding steps of seeing all sentient beings as having been our mother and recognizing their kindness, and wishing to repay that kindness. Then this step of generating affectionate love will flow naturally. So let's take a few minutes to remind ourselves of those steps. Understanding that our mind is beginningless and endless. And its nature is to associate with form, many of those forms arose in dependence upon a mother and father. And Reba Rinpoche has said that although the number of existing sentient beings is countless, the infinity of lives is greater. Each and every sentient being has been able to play that role of the mother countless times.
And when doing so, has shown us the kindness of the mother, protecting us when we're vulnerable and sick, teaching us helping us to develop skills and abilities to navigate the world safely and competently. Setting us up for success in school and in relationships. Try to focus on these steps. Feeling that you are the recipient of so much kindness from all sentient beings in this and all previous lives.
and try to focus on whatever feelings of closeness, of warmth, of affection that are generated by this contemplation. trying to generalize that out to every sentient being without exception. Then reflect on the fact that these kind mother sentient beings, just like myself, deeply wish to be happy, deeply wish to be free from any suffering.
And yet this kind of pure, uncontaminated, perfect happiness is not possible within cyclic existence. Each and every one of these kind mother sentient beings are in fact devoid of what they deserve. Try to use that reflection to develop the aspiration for all kind mother sentient beings to have real, genuine, lasting happiness and true freedom from suffering. through the accomplishment of the state of enlightenment. And then try to generate the resolve that I myself will cause this to happen. Try to rest your mind in that unshakable determination
And then when you're ready, we'll come back together. And we'll dedicate. So recollect your altruistic motivation and think that you've actualized that motivation, contemplating in this way. And in so doing, you've created positive energy in the mind And think that that energy, that karma, is something that you offer for the benefit of all sentient beings. Thinking strongly, may that positive energy ripen in whatever way is beneficial for sentient beings. Up to and including providing the conditions for all sentient beings to achieve enlightenment. And may it serve as a cause and condition for myself to generate uncontrived bodhicitta in my mind and on the basis of that to achieve the state of enlightenment myself so that I gain the tools the abilities to work perfectly for the benefit of sentient beings. And may my practice serve as a cause to pacify any obstacles to a guru's long life. May I and all sentient beings in this moment come under the joyful care of the enlightened beings. May we be guided and protected until our swift enlightenment. Thank you.